In this video, we're going to be learning about how to find the surface area and volume of spheres. So to start off, a sphere is the set of all points in space equidistant or the same distance from a given point called the center. So if we have a center and we figure out every point that is the same distance away from it, that creates a sphere. The radius is a segment that has one endpoint at the center and the other endpoint on the sphere. So we take our center and we find some point on the sphere and we call that the radius. Then a diameter is a segment passing through the center with endpoints on the, sp on the sphere. So if we take two endpoints, pass it through the center, that's going to give us our diameter. The surface area of a sphere is four pi r squared. And remember, since we're working with area, it's going to be units squared. And a volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. And our units are going to be cubed because we're working with volume. So let's try out an example. So if we are asked to find the surface area and volume of a sphere, the first thing we want to do is find the radius. It gives us that the diameter is 10 meters, so our radius is going to be half of that, so our radius will be 5 meters. Now the surface area is equal to 4 pi r squared, so we're going to say that is 4 pi times 5 squared, which will be equal to 100 pi meters squared. Now for volume, our volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed, so 4 thirds pi times 5 cubed, which will be exactly 500 over 3 pi meters cubed, which is 166.6 .6 repeating meters cubed, or if you want to pi meters cubed, or if you want to plug that in, that's approximately 524 meters cubed. So just be careful. If you're given the diameter, you have to change it into radius before you can use these formulas.